Welcome guys to our new video. I want today to show you a video where I was riding in Poland. Um, especially I would call it Hard Adventure. This Hard Adventure was organized by Endurak and Gaddafi. Maybe you know these names already. They have been really famous on Instagram or on YouTube a little bit, Facebook also a little bit more, but mainly on uh, Instagram. They have organized in Poland an uh, off-road adventure where I was riding on single tracks on also on real tough terrain. This tough terrain turned out after the half day to be really serious because it got wet and wet was not the best idea or the rain was not the best idea to ride because everything got a little bit muddy and like a clay and it was sticking to the tires. My tires were quite good, uh, not for my friend that I was riding with because I didn't know that I need a navigation system with me so I didn't brought any device with me for this event this was not told by the organizer so I didn't had one so I found the person that where I can ride with him I was riding with my race HP2 with my early suspension on front and on the back on the front I had a Mitos EF07 on the back I had a Mitos MC 720 and yeah that's what I would say the terrain and the road that they chose were really 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 cool and I really like it and I can to say to everyone if you have the time and the possibility is again there to ride with Endurak and Gaddafi take it because it was really really cool also Chris Birch was there organized uh, also a training you know, he has done it on Sunday if I remember right and this training or this I would call it an uh, hot adventure ride was from Wednesday till Sunday but I was only precipitating on Friday during two time issues from my side because the day before I was on the wedding and the day after I was already uh, organizing or I organized a, tr a ride with Andrew uh, in Czech Republic where I will also post a video in one week about this ride and yeah to share my experience what I have learned maybe uh, what I have done on this adventure was really cool as you see here it's already a little bit muddier in the forest and it's slippy so I stay with the rails in it because I don't want to go across them or anything because there is big danger that the bike will go sideways or anything it happened to me that I crashed during my ride because the front wheel wanted to go this railway the back wheel this and then it got to the opposite rides and yeah so i crashed the bike but nothing big or i insured myself really mini or so i have also i had a small scratch on my elbow but nothing to worry about or anything a small scratch more on the cylinder head but also nothing big good Toratec protectors did they drop. Um, yeah, the roads or the tracks were mainly really rocky. As you see here, it was soft and not rocky, but it was soft and destroyed. So the roads were, I would say, in a, not in the best condition, but we are off road. So we don't care about the condition we ride we ride as it is and enjoy the ride and it was for sure really exhausting so uh, 
it was not like yeah uh, it was a chilly ride or anything it was not really hard terrain what i was riding um, it was really for my skills it was a really cool uh, ride and i could enjoy it because in the beginning of the day we start with the hard other foul so this means the harder tracks and later after the rain because of my colleague and his tire choice we changed this is for example in the morning the hard other foul where we go a track down um, i still today think this was not the right track to go and uh, just the gps on the phone from this guy was wrong and yeah we were going here down also quite steep and maybe you have uh, seen the engine was off i was uh, stopping the bike um, by the first gear and with the clutch because then i have a better control over the bike and this is something i learned from a guy that was uh, teaching hard and uh, years ago i was training with him in in um Hungary, uh, I was 14 years old or something and he teached the skills to me and yeah this is why I was why I do this stuff of course it depends all on terrain you ride uh, what you do but for me my pers uh, pers personal preference it is so that I like this style so when you have steep hills and goes down it's better for me to have the clutch and the first gear in and uh, turn off the engine to have a better control and if uh, if needed i can put my right foot down otherwise you know you you know for sure what happens when you don't brake with the back you will just slide down and then it's really big concern that you will crash but yeah this was something I have learned and you maybe have seen this is strange because I have gotten a message on, on my Instagram story where someone said it's strange you are running down the hill with the first gear on and the engine is off. But yeah, this is just an exp explanation for you. Um, what I have learned here is also to ride in muddy conditions, of course, because I, for a long time I haven't run over muddy conditions or run on muddy conditions um, you, you see it's not that wet here in this video but I can say to you it was on some uh, tracks it was really clay and muddy and for me for, for my tire choice it was okay but he on the front had a Moto Z rally tire and this is a 50-50 tire, uh, for my opinion, also not the best 50-50 tire. I, I'm not a fan of Moto Z uh, tires because they are uh, quite good for the kilometers when you run, uh, want to ride high kilometer ranges, but uh, not good for uh, muddy and wet surfaces so yeah this is just my opinion of course there are different people and he really likes it and he says yeah this is the uh, minus of of riding in the muddy conditions with a 50 50 tire but i am in the opinion that for example dunlop 908r would uh, ready ride would be better in these conditions but this is something just in my opinion so yeah maybe you ask what we have uh, ridden or how many kilometers I run over the day 120 kilometers or on the bike so about 120 kilometers and we were nine hours on the bikes and didn't really make a rest there was one rest when it was really st uh, a strong rain uh, coming down so we stopped and just waited in the woods that it stops a little bit so we can ride again but this was maybe 40 minutes or something so this was on our only rest that we did and then we ride all the day so yeah this is what I would tell and you see also the there was also a little bit some sandy act, uh, sections 
um, some boobies and the bike performed really well. I was really and don't want to hurt myself because I feel okay I was too fast a little bit so I stopped a little bit my speed and just to keep up was not a problem but just to cool down because there was nothing to win and yeah this is something you need to have in your head so that not every time you need to push your yourself behind the limits just everything can but nothing must be done and 
this is something to keep in mind and if some colleagues are capable to do something you are not necessary to do so that's something I have learned over the years and this is also my way of thinking so you see also we are riding next to uh, some houses and also sometimes we passed by hikers uh, and they are really friendly and got thumbs up and they were smiling and you just greeted them and this was completely different than riding in Austria. In Austria something like that would be never possible to do and people would rather kill you than help you really. That's just something different. And in Poland and in Romania, for example, was riding, it's, it's really, it's, as I was riding the first time in the mountains, I was in the mountains in Poland really often already, but for hiking and visiting, but never with the motorbike. And as I was riding like that over the bushes and in the woods and then coming out of the woods, seeing the hill, hills and then seeing the sheep going around, it really reminds me how it was in Romania. So if you are next to Poland and you don't have it so far, I think Poland is like really, really a cool place to go and ride with your motorcycle. But off-road, on-road I can say Poland is not the place to ride a motorcycle on-road it's so dangerous and so risky that you get kicked off your bike and yeah you see here in this video for example now that i struggled a little bit with traction on the rear to get further but yeah it gets more or it's get it gets more tricky so um yeah you see also a little bit the the tracks of the of the guy on the front of me so he's going like slalom all the time and balancing and I'm also struggling a little bit with my traction to find it. So yeah, I stopped here a little bit and then go further just to check because I was not sure if there are something else in. So he stopped because he needed a rest he said because <laughs> it's too dangerous and to uh, exhausting to ride now further and he wanted to have a stop so we stopped and there was no problem at all as I said there was nothing to win and this is something also you see it's it's a more a single track it was maybe years ago something where the tractors or cars were driving but now I think the only thing that is driving is our motorbike or mountain bikes over these roads. This was completely legal to drive. So nothing illegal was done in this, uh, on these trips. And yeah, then you have, for example, such nice roads, for example, where you can push a little bit and go faster and this was really cool because you had the variety of roads like single tracks and then normal uh, forest roads and then you such faster forest roads where the pavement was really even and really nice made and you see here for example how nice the view is over the mountains um, how nice the trees are, the roads, so it, it, this is something, for example, what I mean, it reminds me of Romania. And Romania, because I love it to be there, but it's really far away from Vienna. And this this location, for example, is from Vienna, 400 kilometers, 400 kilometers, like nothing. To Romania, you need to think it's like 800, so double and that's really far and you cannot go there such easy so i really think and uh, want to go to poland sooner or later again to ride in the mountains and yeah if someone wants to join or something i am open just message me on instagram if you want to go also maybe with me on a ride 
this would be yeah appreciated and we could uh, do something because I still have the white HP2 in Poland that I want to ride back from my uncle's place to Vienna back and yeah we see here for example a really also nice rocky stuff um, challenging for balance um, the bikes you know is jumping from one stone to another stone and you need to find the best way I would say to have the best balance also and ride it this is something really and I was not riding before this event pretty much it's during the time job and yeah just basic life where you don't have the time to ride so often and yeah you see he stopped here because the paddle he said it's too deep but I can see he was a little bit afraid of paddles because he had that experience where a paddle got deeper than it looked like and this is something where he don't want to go over paddles and I take every paddle I can take of course there is the danger that the paddle is deeper than you think and then you fly over the bike and you see here the hikers where they just smile and just we pass and there is nothing to worry about that they will stop you or be angry or anything because yeah and you see here he is a little bit struggling because the bike is going to the left to the right left to the right I stopped here because he was too slow and I thought here's the good place but then he crashed the bike and this hill was really steep so yeah this one is also you don't see it on cameras or how steep or deep a hill is but I can say it's it's not really steep it's not hardcore but it was for sure really steep because we it took us 50 minutes to turn around his bike on this tip here you see again here the hiker saying hi your whole family saying hello the kids everyone is smiling and happy and friendly and yeah that's something you know you are here on the right way and everyone no one gets hurt and you don't hurt any loss or anything the same here you see a family and everyone is looking what they are doing here but they are not complaining because they know it's not illegal to ride here so this this is also a quite nice steep hill and going up and i really like it this uh, on the on the on the beginning of the day the the tracks were really nice on the middle of the day it got a little bit not to say hard but it was challenging because of the wet surface later it dried a little bit out because it was quite warm and then later on the day we had such nice tracks where you could push faster and go faster and then you get already also in such woods like this where you just go and stay on and try to stay on the bike and don't go on the wrong path because yeah otherwise you will fall and that's quite uh, something really nice of course for balancing and knowing your bike but also challenging for your health and strength because you get really tired of such riding of course so you see here also again like a single path almost not that challenging or anything it's a really cool ride where you enjoy to be alive and to enjoy the views so it, it would be really nice to know from you in the comments what you think about something like that to have a video where you see how i ride and in the same time i speak to you and talk about different topics if you want to have it like that or you want to have a music just keep me in the mute uh, in the comments below 
that I know how how you think this is because I think it's really nice because you hear and voice and it's not so boring because to have a look on YouTube videos of how people write there are millions of them on the internet but if someone is talking and and you see something I think the time is not so long then so it passed faster and maybe I have said something that was interesting for you if you want to hear something on a special topic just keep a comment below I will try to do my best what you what you want to hear or anything then I can put it on my next video uh, that where I was writing in Czech Republic with Andrew uh, and yeah and see what I can do for you and yeah you, you know you you are the watcher and your feedback is always appreciated for me because I can learn from the feedback and do my best to keep up with other youtubers Andrew maybe just to say a little bit uh, who is Andrew Andrew is a friend uh, he's a little bit uh, active on Instagram because he was uh, preparing himself for the GS trophy that should be next year in Namibia and this was his big dream uh, it's it would be also my big dream to start in the GS trophy so he was training really hard for that and I was visiting him to maybe give him some tips and tricks for the GS because I have also a big knowledge about GS because I was riding or I am riding a GS still and also just yeah he wants to ride the HP2 so I give it him the opportunity to ride a HP2 that I bought the last time as I was in Poland and yeah he enjoyed it a lot and he loves the bike really 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 much so he's thinking to buy a HP2 maybe so our HP2 community will be with one HP2 more that makes me happy and yeah we were riding there it was really fun and yeah in the next video I will tell you more about this nice ride what we have experienced, what we have seen and maybe you can tell me what topic you want to hear I should talk about so you will see and hear my voice and my writing so the video is going to the end I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you had a nice time and I hope I see or you see my videos next time when you're on YouTube. I try to post videos every week, so one week, one video per week, normally on Thursday at 11 o'clock. This is my time where I want to post new videos. So Thursday, why Thursday? Because I think it's nice then you can have maybe a, on Thursday uh, to watch them or Friday and then you have the whole weekend to watch a video and for sure a nice opportunity and yeah it's it's at the end of the week normally people are not so busy as on the beginning of the week that's for me for example so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy the new idea i have and just give me a comment below please subscribe please like it really helps me and I really enjoy it. So goodbye, my lovely watcher.